Hi class, uh, so this is my week three physical education assessment. Uh, so the two questions, research self-made assessments and identify one that you can implement into your class or sport. The second one, include a statement that explains why you chose the specific assessment to share with the class and how you will use it with your student or athletes. Um, so after looking through the PE Central website, there was a student assessment example um, section and an alternative uh, assessment example. Um, I know we were only supposed to pick one, but what there was the two that I saw uh, kind of blended into uh, what I would do as a teacher. Um, so I think that it was necessary for me to pick both of them in order to kind of explain um, the full um, assessment that that I would do because I think just picking one or the other wouldn't wouldn't fulfill the whole concept of what I was trying. Um, to do in my assessment. So uh, for the first one, it was under the student assessment examples section. It was a basketball worksheet example, specifically a hand dribbling example. What I liked about it is in the beginning, they had a, a, a kind of a chart, a face chart. So you put a happy face if you agreed with what was said, the statement, you put a sideways face if you kind of agree, and then a frown if you don't agree at all. Um, I like that because you get the see where the students are at their opinion i would have liked for them to be more clear on agree as in like it's a fact or it's more of like uh their face represented represented their um where they felt they were on that skill level uh so i think that um just being more clear there but i do like the idea of the of the um the happy sideways or frown face to see uh, the self-assessment that they're making of themselves. Um, the second part, um, it starts to go more into a, a deeper comprehension and understanding of how to dribble. So they made a kind of a fun way of like, you're the coach or you know, you're know you explaining to a friend uh, how to dribble. So then you get to see uh, their ideas and, and how they would teach it and to see if they're missing any components. It's almost like a math problem. Um, when they're writing it out um, so that's also a good way to self-assess and uh, they're self-assessing themselves without even kind of really realizing it uh, lastly uh, they used a check for understanding concept uh, by having the students circle the area of the hand um, that you would use in order to dribble so this particular student circled the fingertips um, to push down on the ball which is obviously correct um, but you know, some kids may, uh, you know, circle the whole, whole hand or they may, um, circle just the palm. So it was kind of a cool way to have the, uh, student, um, demonstrate without having to do too much where it is on their hand that they would use in order to dribble. Uh, so that was all for the first part. Uh, for the second part, it was underneath the alternative assessment section. This was a fourth grade rubric long uh, jump rope. Uh, what I liked about this was the um, there was just deeper uh, explanation of what it was uh, that was expected. Um, it had a master's, intermediate, advanced, beginner, and beginner. And then underneath that, it had an explanation of, okay, if you can do this many, then you're in a master. If you can do this many, you're an intermediate. Um, so it, it made it more clear to the students where they were at. Um, and so I think that having that um, is very helpful for the kids because then they have a goal to strive to, to, strive to, to get to, um, even if they're not where they wanna be right away. Um, and so that way they're self-assessing themselves over time um, and they can, and then there was different objectives like turning um, the long jump with a partner, doing it by two people, and then different tricks by two people. So you kind of have, the, you could be a beginner in one area, but you'd be a master in a different area. So it gives you a lot of different options. Um, so I think just combining the two different self-assessments um, would be an actual, it would be a great, assessment to have uh, because you have one where they're more explaining it and telling them how telling you how they feel and then the other one is them actually demonstrating it and and uh and seeing it and um you can have them circle it you can do it your own self-observation you can do both or self-assessment uh, um you can do both um 
so overall I liked both of them um, I think if you were to combine them it would be perfect uh, I would make mine probably a little more difficult because all of these examples seem to be K through 5 uh, and I plan on doing secondary so I, I make the questions maybe a little more difficult um, or I'd make the, uh, the jump rope I think I'd you know instead of having only two but for being a master maybe make it three or four or five um, to get to that master level um, and I think that would be about it. Uh, those are about the only things I would switch. So, uh, yeah, I find both of these very useful. Um, and I look forward to kind of using this to uh, help me um, progress in, in the future. So thanks for listening.